Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Dr. Stone episode 13, Masked Warrior. Last episode, um, Senko and the others were trying to get some uh, sulfuric acid, but it turns out that it's deadly if you breathe in for like a second, then you're dead. So they wound up making gas masks. And at first, think we wanted Chrome to stay behind, but Chrome is like, no, we're doing this together. And they went. And then I love the parallel between the the storyline between uh, Chrome and Senko. And then there was the one between Kuhaku and her sister Rudy in the past. I love that. Um, what else happened? Ginro was... <laughs> at first... He was scared because of the gas thing, because they personified the gas as uh, this um, fairy-looking woman. And then after he sort of, he was almost dead, I guess. He was so afraid, but then you had old man Kasiki give him some, some kind of wisdom about overcoming your fears and all that. So he went back, and with his help, all three of them, Ginro, uh, Senku, and uh, Chrome, were able to obtain the sulfuric acid. So now what's gonna come next? I don't know. And with the title being Masked Warrior, I'm thinking maybe we're gonna go to Sukasa's empire and they're gonna introduce this person? I don't know. I might be wrong. But yeah, let's check it out. Oh, they're waiting, waiting for them. Okay. They still got other stuff to do. What is the They're gonna make it today? Susuru Janega! Good morning, world! Masked warrior. Should you be holding it? You're not that strong, man. <laughs> I'm just like you, <laughs> Kuaku. I can't follow this map, man. I'm just letting them do what they need to do. Then you guys need to win. You need to tell them that you can see straight. Like, really? Kinro? Turquoise. Why is she called that? <sighs> Since he made the silver lens, <laughs> so he's the masked warrior. Like a serpent. Hi. Yeah, all she wants is to save her sister. Oh, 
It's been six months. Does she know him? Is he part of the Hundred Tales? From the hundred tails, I'm pretty sure it's from the. Oh, is she called turquoise because of the color of her eyes? Nah, she really also has the same color, right? He's saying it like in front of people. <laughs> oh, Suika. Kinro Magma. <laughs> I knew that's exactly what's gonna happen. With Suika's repeating that same thing, I'm like, it's gonna go the other way around. What is this guy gonna do? He's the one that follows Magma around, right? Did he push her in? <laughs> and you didn't do anything? てめえはマグマを倒す最終防衛戦だ。てめえが今抜けたら。だが、スイカを助けられるのは一番早い私しかいない。後白本人の試合。第三試合までに戻らない場合は失格。弟となる次の王者は。このマグマ様で決まった。
Oh, please tell me it's not oh it's over i loved this episode man like i loved it i loved it the fact that we knew that kimbo had eyebrows had fuzzy eyes like they say but he didn't want to tell anybody like anybody at all because he felt like he was not manly enough or shameful or something or other and then when they were fighting and they were fighting when they were in close contact or whatever he was doing his best but then when magma like stepped back he couldn't see farther like the distance made him not see clearly so he was getting beaten up beaten up beaten up and then you had suika after getting out of the i don't quite get how she got out of the ropes like she was tied tied to the tree right really tightly and then she was saying something about like turning herself into something and making fire like i don't know you know how you would be um using two rocks or something to make fire she turned turned rogers around and then i don't get how that made her come loose that's so that she can like go into her marshmallow mask or whatever i don't quite get that but then she escaped right and then she comes to the match itself and then seeing the way kinro was just like straining his eyes to try to see she understood what was going on and then she told senku and then she <laughs> she went all the way up the stairs to the chief's cabin or whatever and she was turning around i, I don't get to get that either how is the fact that she was turning around so much and then she went into herself and then she was coming down the stairs how did that increase her speed i don't know but it increased her speed and then she let the thing go and then it just went onto kiro's head and then he was just like the power of science now i can see clearly and then he was just beating magma up like that that he, he was pissing me off the fact that he was like lick my boot or my feet or something or other i'm like i, I wanted to do what chrome wanted to do like hitting me the testicles like i wanted to do that as well because he was pissing me off now i don't know if the match is actually over right then and there or if like at this moment chrome just chrome um kinro just has the upper hand and uh, magma might possibly overturn him i don't know but had kinro had glasses from the very beginning he would have been stronger than magma and i love that so i don't quite remember how the tournament thing like the bracket i don't know quite remember how we went and apparently i think kohaku is supposed to be the third round right if you win are you like if like if you lose are you like eliminated and if you are eliminated then if that was kingro winning then that will eliminate magma so i'm totally okay with that i just don't know who will win the actual bout itself if i remember correctly Chrome is also in the bout, right? And I know that Kinro is like he's not gonna lose on purpose. If Magma is, is eliminated and you have Kohaku still there, you have Kinro there, you have Ginro there, and then you have um, Chrome there still in the tournament. I don't know who the other persons are, and I don't think. They're gonna be relevant. Like if it's gonna come down to them, then hopefully the bracket is gonna come down in a way that you're gonna have Chrome and possibly <laughs> I wanted to say Kinro, no, not Kinro, Ginro as the final battle, so that Kinro will like, you know how they were saying that he was gonna be like, oh. I'm there, so I'm gone. 
you might have him possibly do that so that Chrome can win the bout and marry Rudy. But then Gingo, I don't know, man. I don't trust him. <laughs> I feel like he would beat up Chrome just for the chance to marry Rudy. So I don't know. Maybe if he was, if Senko and uh, Chrome by some miracle ended up as the final battle, then. I can see Senko faking it and letting Chrome win. Either way, I feel like one of our people is going to win. And I love that when Senko, when they introduced Senko, like, apparently it's been six months since Senko has been at the village. So, yeah. And that was the first time him and Rudy were uh, meeting. And Rudy, based on his name, was like, I know this person. So I'm thinking she's she's like the priestess and she's supposed to pass down the knowledge of the Hundred Tales. I feel like Senko is a story in the Hundred Tales. Like, Senko lived in the past 3,000 years ago right and he's now waking up in the future maybe there's some kind of journal or something or other that mention Senku since he's like really intelligent and all that and it's from there that after the years has passed that Rudy comes upon this story about Senku and his you know how amazing he is and all that and that's where she knows him from I'm just speculating. <sighs> what has happened this episode? I was also wondering, like, you know how the names is based on the uh, characteristic that the person has? Like, you have Kimbo. He's, like, gold, right? He loves gold and all that, so he's Kimbo. Then you had Kimbo, who's, like, silver. And then you had um, Suika, who's, like, the watermelon thing. And then you had... Uh, um, who else? I don't know. But like, the turquoise person, I feel like it's her. It, it's gonna be her because of her eyes. I'm not sure because I feel like her eyes has some kind of turquoise color. So I'm wondering like what, like Kuhaku and Rudy, what are their characteristics? Like what does their name mean? And I don't know, like, I want to know where their names came from. Why did they name them like that? You know, like a, like a lot of them. Even Chrome. Why was he named Chrome? Like, I, I want to know. I'm curious. I love this episode. I loved it, man. You know, I, I kind of feel like I want to see this bracket and see if I can even, like... Let me see. So you have King Row, Magma. And it seems like this guy is mental. You have mental. You have mental against Chrome, right? You have Senku against Kuaku. And then you have uh, Ginro against this person, whoever that person is. Okay, assuming that this fight is over, then King Row wins. And I feel like Chrome is gonna win the second one, so it's gonna be King Row versus Chrome at the Sima Finals. Right? And then from Kohaku and Senku's match. Assuming that Kohaku comes back in time, because she's went, she's she went all the way down to the river, right? Assuming that she comes, she doesn't come back in time, then Senko's gonna be moving on. And then you have, I'm assuming Ginro is gonna be moving on here as well. Yeah. So you might have either Ginro versus <laughs> Senko. Or Ginro versus Kohaku. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna say. I oh, don't know, man. Let me see. Okay, so you have Ginro 
moving on and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be going against Chrome and then from that match I'm gonna face Is Kohaku gonna be back by then or is Senku? Okay, I'm gonna assume. I really want it to be to be down to Senku and Chrome, but I don't think it's gonna be that lucky. I'm gonna be that lucky. I feel like Kohaku's gonna come back. So Kohaku versus Senku, Kohaku's gonna win right and then Ginro versus whoever the other person is Ginro is gonna win so you're gonna have Ginro and uh, versus Kohaku since Kohaku is stronger then Kohaku is gonna win and she's gonna be facing <sighs> the winner of the match between Ginro and Chrome if we're thinking technique, then Ginro's are gonna win. And the fact that and the fact that he doesn't like he doesn't wanna I don't know. He, he's still gonna go like he doesn't want to lose by you know some kind of like give up or anything he's gonna give it his all <sighs> objectively he will win against Chrome for sure but I want the, the bracket to end up in a way that Chrome is gonna win you know so that he can make it marry Rudy. <sighs> Why am I thinking so hard about this? <laughs> okay. Let's do this again. Based on strength alone, you're gonna have Ginro. But is the match even over between Ginro, Ginro and uh, Magma? I'm gonna assume it is. So you have Ginro moving on and he's gonna be facing Chrome. And then you have uh, assuming Kohaku comes back, you have Kohaku versus Kinro. Ginro. Kinro Ginro, yeah. So from the match between Kinro and Chrome, Kinro is gonna win. It's gonna go against Kohaku. And since Kohaku is stronger than Kinro, then Kohaku would would win. That's based on strength, their physical abilities alone. Now, if I go with the way that I want it to go, <laughs> my wish is that Kinro Kinro advances right and he's gonna go against chrome and uh Ginro is gonna take the bullet Kinro, i'm sorry he's gonna take the bullet and let chrome advance and then on the other side you'll have kohaku versus uh senko i'm gonna say that kohaku doesn't come back in time so senko is gonna move on and then you have Ginro. And the other dude and Ginro's gonna win. So you're gonna have Senko versus Ginro. And between those two, Senko versus Ginro, I'm gonna say that since they make they made a pact or something or other, I'm pretty sure Senko can convince Chrome Chrome Ginro of losing the match on purpose uh, by using some kind of science thing that he can tempt him with so I'm gonna say that Senko would move on in that case <laughs> and then you will have Chrome versus Senko and since Senko knows that Chrome likes Rudy then Senko is gonna take the loss and let Chrome win so that Chrome can marry Rudy this is the way that I want things to go
or even if it can still go my way if Kohaku comes back because if she comes back and she defeats Senko she moves on Genro Gen Kim Genro I still get confused a little bit Genro's gonna move on then you're gonna have so Kohaku versus Genro Kohaku's gonna win and then it's gonna come down to oh man there are so many possibilities man like you're gonna have Kohaku at the end on the right side right and on the left side I want Chrome to come at the end and that will happen if Kinro after he winning the match Kinro after winning the match like takes the loss to let Chrome Chrome yeah Chrome go go on ahead or if this match is not over the match between Magma and Kinro is now over then uh, it's by some miracle or whatever Magma wins Chrome is gonna move on and face Magma right and Chrome is gonna hit him in the, the testicles <laughs> he's gonna win like that and oh no my point is I want I want things to end the way that I want it to end and that is with Chrome winning by some kind of shenanigans so that he can be the one that marries Rudy like that's my wish I hope it goes like that and yeah sorry for spending so much time trying to figure out this bracket thank you guys for watching my reaction to this episode and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and i will see you back on uh, thursday for my reaction to episode 14 of dr stone thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye Ohio.